Honourable Teacher, Kerm Falsha, Rev uh, Kinu and Realtis Commission, Faisrahan Abonu, it's a Kush, a Fela, Gorharla, a Saked, I Chakas Moyan Rudd, Ego Will and Kinu Shaw Togta. Teacher, I also want to welcome the fact that the government is to establish a commission of inquiry into mother and baby homes across this state. And the past week or so saw horrific revelations, including the fact that up to 800 children may have been buried in an unmarked communal plot at the site of a former mother and baby home in Chum. And it's alleged that a regime of neglect and malnutrition caused the deaths of these most vulnerable of our citizens. And Taoiseach, as we know, this wasn't an isolated case. There were dozens of these homes operated across Ireland from the late 80s up to partition and then in this state up until the 1970s. It's clear that the women and babies had no rights. It's also clear that from the harrowing accounts of survivors who found the strength to speak out in recent days that their lives were destroyed. And I think it's well gone past the time that the institutions and the agencies of this state faced up to this shameful period. And I want to commend the survivors and other activists, particularly the historians who have kept faith on this issue. And I just want to tease out, if I may, the terms of reference of the inquiry that you have announced. Clearly it must be, as you have said, it must be comprehensive. And I think there are a number of key issues. The issue of the effect of imprisonment of pregnant women and mother and baby homes. The taking of babies from their mothers against their will. The cause of the shocking infant mortality rates at mother and baby homes. The circumstances surrounding the burial of children and babies who died at these homes. The routine illegal adoption and trafficking to the USA of an unknown number of children and the subjection of children to medical trials without the consent of their mothers. And Taoiseach, there are other institutions that need to be included in this inquiry, such as the West Bank Home in Greystones, County Wicklow, and other similar institutions. So can you confirm for the dial that all these issues will be covered by the Government's Commission of Inquiry? Will it also have full powers of compelability in relation to those who it wants to interview? And will it have full access to all records and documents whether they're held by public authorities or private institutions? Um, I, I, I welcome your, your, um, your constructive suggestions here. Um, obviously, obviously um, people returning from America uh, to trace their, their roots as, a, uh, as children who were adopted there. I, obviously, all of those the vast majority of those who were adopted in the United States were perfectly healthy babies. What happened to the others who were not so healthy, who had problems, intellectual problems, physical problems, uh, or other difficulties? Uh, I think the, the church here can certainly play a role in terms of identifying the, uh, the burial routines, uh, the, the ground, whether consecrated or to be consecrated be properly marked, the um, issues of privacy that affect um, uh, adopt, uh, adopted children and the whole question of, of adoption. The, I understand that there are several thousand who were, who were um, adopted in the United States. Uh, the imprisonment that you mentioned, the question of the structure and the nature of the investigation, Deputy Adams, is something that um, Minister for Children is starting at four o'clock to discuss with members of the opposition and independent, in, independent, um, independent members. So I, I think it's a, it is a case of trying to define a, a, a set of terms of reference here, but that are, would be based on the, on the key facts that need to be determined and how we deal with that. And everybody's got their own view and their own information, and it's now beginning to flood in uh, from, from many quarters. So I think rather than just having you know, um, uh, a, a very rushed reaction to set up something that might not be as comprehensive or as, um, or as, um, as suitable or as appropriate as needs be. 
uh, I'm, I, I, I would say to the, to the Minister on behalf of the Government, I think it's, it's important to take a little time to get this right. Um, not too long, obviously. It's drifted for so many decades now. Uh, and I do think that it, it filters out into the wider societal background that you know, Deputy Martin spoke of and I refer to myself. Uh, so from that point of view, I take it now that we will try to be as comprehensive and as um, thorough and as appropriate uh, as is possible in this, in this matter. And what we don't want is, uh, in, in my view, is a, a sort of litigious response here uh, that ends up in, in you know, very expensive um, assessment of facts and files that are already available in the public domain. Uh, there's a, a whole series of issues here that need to be dealt with. I would assume that the Minister will engage with everybody, will talk constructively with everybody who has to contribute, historians, local groups, members of the, of the, of the public and public representatives, um, and try to ascertain the totality of the range of facts that need to be determined, and on the basis of that, to find the structure of the terms of reference for the Commission, and the, the members of the House uh, will be directly involved in that. Thank you. Deputy Adams. One minute. Thank you. Well, Gordon Mugget, uh, <coughs> shocked. You see, just trying to come to terms with this myself, and you know, one of the big questions that I asked of myself was, how on earth did the state allow for the establishment of these institutions for women who had babies out of wedlock. And then just trying to tease through all of the sad history of all of this, then the more profound question is for us, because the question is what are we going to do about it? And I think the government have made a good start by taking this issue and making this announcement in a very, very clear way, and I think your commitment to work with the parties in the opposition and others is, uh, is also to be very much uh, welcomed. But we have been raising the issue of Bethany Home with the government consistently, because the government has still not uh, fulfilled its responsibilities in relation to Bethany Home or to apologise to uh, the victims. And I, I, I couldn't understand that, Taoiseach, because it's such a small number of uh, people. In, involved such a small number of survivors and now here we have on the back of that greater revelations involving even more uh, citizens. So while I, I welcome your commitment and uh, the Minister's commitment, our, our responsibility is to hold you to account in of all of this. I think counselling is crucial uh, and counselling is an add-on in many cases. Uh, it's, it's, it's just crucial for, for all of the survivors and for others who are traumatised by these uh, revelations. I also wonder why, why aren't the guards, why isn't Garda Shukana investigating this? It just, just strikes me as a, as a pertinent uh, point. Thank you. Why, why isn't the state in Chum sealed off so that, so that experts can be brought in to uh, ex examine it? And then finally, Taoiseach, will the government support our private members' motion this evening and tomorrow uh, into this latest shameful episode of, of our history? I'm pleased that it has been overtaken by the government's announcement, but I would like the government to make clear what its position is on the motion which our party is putting. Taoiseach. Well, the government want, want to make it clear that um, the government have decided to hold a uh, uh, an inquiry, a commission of investigation into these matters. Uh, as I said, the, the range of issues and the range of facts that need to be determined are very extensive. Uh, they're, they're, they encompass a very broad range of societal um, issues. Uh, therefore, it's, it's only right and proper that we attempt to get this as thorough and as fulsome and as appropriate as is possible. Um, yes. Uh, Deputy Adams, you did mention Bethany Holmes here on quite a number of occasions. Um, Archbishop Jackson has, has written to me uh, today about this matter. But the question being considered then was whether Bethany Holmes should be considered as part of the investigation and analysis that was going on into the Magdalene laundries. And clearly, Bethany Holmes was not a laundry. Um, but now it's one of, one of um, a significant number of uh, mother and baby homes that must be investigated. Um, 
I, I, I mean, I've heard different, different numbers um, as, to the, as to the number of, of graveyards, of cemeteries that there are around the country. In every county in Ireland, there are unmarked graves where children were buried. Some were from the famine times. Some may include, uh, you know, children that came from mother and baby homes or whatever. So I think the, the analysis of the records, of the burial procedures, of the, of the, uh, of the ground, whether consecrated or not, uh, is an issue where I think where we, we also have to focus on. I know that on my own part of the country, up until just a few years ago, unconsecrated ground was where children born out of wedlock were buried uh, and were treated as a, as a different species entirely. And it wasn't until, until the 80s that the, the concept of illegitimacy was, uh, was, was abolished. Thank you. Um, so uh, these are valuable contributions that members make. Uh, the Minister for Children will, will lead this on behalf of the government and, as I say, will, will uh, consult broadly uh, with the public and the, the uh, organisations and all of the different groups that are necessary and, of course, the elected members here in order to get this as right as possible. Um, it's very hard to put a fix, Deputy Adams, on the conclusion of it. But the, 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 the big message is that the uh, government are, are obviously concerned here at the implications of this and have um, decided to have a, a formal uh, inquiry, commission of investigation. So my hope would be that members of the House and the different parties and independent groups uh, can all work together in a spirit of trying to deal with this. Uh, another, another episode from our, from our not so glorious past, as I've said. Thank you.